for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bike Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's Belgium versus Argentina. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential, should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. De Bruyne. Azar. On to De Bruyne. Can they keep it out? Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Well, who knows, he might be called upon again. Still some defending to do. Martins. And it's gone behind for the corner. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Aerial opportunity, couldn't take it. Well, he did well to get to the ball first, and he's unlucky there. He just got too much on it. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Well, Belgium in the round of 16, one of the features of their play down the years has been comeback football. 1986, I remember their terrific fight back against the Soviet Union. 2018 in Russia, 2-0 down against Japan. They went on to win 3-2. How about on this occasion, Stuart? Another comeback needed? Yeah, you're forgetting the game where England beat Belgium in the last 16, where David Flack scored in extra time. And I thought at that point, Belgium were the better team. They didn't get the luck on that occasion. Hopefully, they get the luck in this game because they are a good side who can go all the way to win this tournament. And Messi's incisive pass. And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then the perfect finish from Lautaro. He really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. And once again, they get the ball rolling. Let's find out if Belgium can react to this setback. Lautaro Martinez. Di Maria. Mersens. Romelu Lukaku now. Useful looking ball. And putting his body on the line. Tielemans. Now the attack fizzled out. Messi into the advanced position well it came to nothing in the end breaking at pace Mertens now with Tielemans well it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end real chance still alive well, they can bring it out now. Well, I don't think they've been at it today, but maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball? It could be up for grabs. And that wasn't a million miles away. Almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one.
And as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But they've certainly shown an ability to counter. He can't hold on to it. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Lukaku. Timothy Castagna. Excellent defending. And he's made headway. Wonderful chance. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a finish from Di Maria. He hits it so cleanly. That's a top-class goal from a top-class player. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Minier. Tielemans. Lukaku. Now Azar, and back with Tielemans, Lukaku! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Just narrowly off target. Onana. Oh, Romelu Lukaku now. Mertens. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And what a clever bit of play it is from Lukaku, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. So Belgium just one behind now. And you sense the momentum may actually be with them. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Lukaku. Azar. And the referee blows for a foul. Onana. Oh, well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They need to get bodies back. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. There's certainly Hang a on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Well, he stormed through, but it didn't end well for him. Well, in those situations, you have to make a few decisions. Unfortunately, he's made the wrong one. And a substitution in the offing. Well, he'll take efforts like that all day long. And intercepted there. Messi. Amadou Onana. Aidan Azar. Lukaku.
Here's the replay. Just look at this pass from Lukaku. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So the ball is running again at 2 all. Makes the move to the inside. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. And they have elected to... And a super header! It looked as though it might be going in. I'm trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. No nonsense clearance. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. 20 minutes to go. Lukaku. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Nicolas Gonzalez. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. Martinez. Now Dybala. Disappointing pass. Hazard counter-attacking very much an option well that break looked so promising but nothing coming from it well doesn't get away with it free kick given oh that's an interesting pass crucial intervention just then amid impending danger Castagna. Hazard. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Oh, a superb save. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. Oh, real chance for him. Will he attack? it so well and made good contact but he just couldn't keep it down could he perfectly positioned to take it away oh the threat is there Lukaku might still be able to do a bit of damage oh it's astonishing one of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see and now the question is can they see this out Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Another great challenge, free kick here. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Oh, good looking run. Can he finish them off? Well, he probably should have done, but couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, that's a wasteful finish. I just hope he won't be regretting that come the end of the game. And there we have it. The referee brings this game to an end. Belgium will be in the last eight. And he's made headway.